All right, welcome back. We have amazing artists on the show right now because they have a very cool uh, show coming up. Actually, it kicks off tomorrow, which is very fun. It's called Vernissage. I think I said that right. Let me check with uh, Karen Bailey. Did I say that correct? Well, no, actually, it's called Melange. Oh, hold on. It, vernissage is tomorrow night, right? Yes, but the Vernissage is another, but the French uh, word for saying opening night, the opening party oh, of our show see? tomorrow night at St. Bridget's. <laughs> see, so Melange I was is our show. That's okay. Now I get this. And Tiffany April is here as well. How are you? Good. Okay, you don't yeah. feel the need to correct me, do you? Uh, no. <laughs> but you probably will as the uh, the uh, as the segment progresses. So tell us then. Okay. So vernissage is the opening night, which is tomorrow night. Yes. We've got melange, which is happening, right? Yes, yeah. that's right. And <laughs> melange, of course, refers to. Um, in, in two senses, it's the storied 150-year history of the Lower Town area and the people of Lower Town. Okay. And our artist studio is located in Lower Town, okay. so Melange is also refers to the diverse range of work our artists are producing in present-day Lower Town. I feel like I'm getting all cultured here. Yes, you <laughs> are. You. Uh, Tiffany, tell us about uh, where you, are, you guys are based out of a very unique spot. Yes, so we're actually in the Rectory House, which is directly beside St. Bridget's um, deconsecrated church. Um, so it's where the priest used to live. Okay. Um, so we've got um, about nine studios there, all a variety of um, artists. We've got jewelry makers, graphic designers, and so that's where all of the artists participating in Melange will be. That's where they all do their work. Okay. So how many? It's because it's a very limited space, right? So how many artists do we have on board? For this exhibition, there's six of us. Okay. Um, but in the house in total, I believe there's about nine. Okay. Okay. Now, now, what kind of artwork are we looking at here for this event? All kinds of different different artwork. Well, it's a, a mix of painting, installation work, and video. Mm -hmm. So the installation work is more like sculptural kinds of pieces. Really um, unusual. Uh, three of our artists are doing uh, installation work, so okay. that's why we needed a really big space. Mm -hmm. And we have exhibition space in St. Bridget's Centre for the Arts, which is a gorgeous, as I say, deconsecrated uh, Catholic church. Yeah, and I've done some uh, events myself in that, in that oh, church. Oh, you know it then. It is very beautiful. We have the, the charity ball at, at um, <gasps> the pumpkin, Great Pumpkin Charity Ball and <gasps> other events, right? Yes. So uh, I know they just had Raw, which was there, which was another yes. uh, with a lot of artists in our mm -hmm. community. So it is a very open space. So how are we filling that if there's only six artists or, or seven artists on, seven on artists. board? Well, at the moment, I think we've got more artwork than walls, so we're really? not having any issues with that. Okay, that's <laughs> good. We have a wonderful curator, Dale Smith, who used to run the Dale Smith Gallery in New Edinburgh, and she kindly agreed to curate the show for us. And that's a huge job, is curating the show. But I like to say, move over National Gallery. Because this really? is really, oh yes, yes. Wow. With our curator, this is just really, you wouldn't know, you could be in the National Gallery when you're in, really? um, in the Caldera good. Room. Yes, it is. Well, that's, that's exceptional. That's something yep. to look forward to. Uh, tell me, in the Green Room, you were telling me something about uh, a term called the Binding Bee, which is, I'm very curious about. So, Abel? Yeah, so um, Thursday evening, we have our artist, Jeannie Polasek, and she will be hosting a Binding Bee. It's uh, in association with her installation work. Um, where she's inviting the community to participate to grow this artwork. Um, she works a lot with stuffed toys as her main um, metaphor. Mm -hmm. And so she's taken these stuffed toys and bound them in yarn as this process of um, a healing process, I guess, of binding up things from the past. And so she's asking people to come with their own stuffed toys mm. and she'll teach them how to bind up their own stuffed toys to add to this installation piece while participating in a group conversation. That's and she's hoping to have a thousand. A thousand? Yeah, a thousand uh, that toys. That seems like a tall order, no? <laughs> <laughs> They've got lots of space to fill. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay, so we also do we have uh, presentations because this is going on. Okay, so opening night is tomorrow, but it's going on over the course of a few days. Yes, on Friday night, uh, Lori Victor, who is a recent graduate, she got her um, Master of Fine Arts in Vermont just in February, mm -hmm. and she's going to be giving a presentation on Friday evening at seven o'clock mm -hmm. in well, the same that's space. Fun. You guys brought uh, some artwork as well, uh, so I'm assuming that these are both your creations. Okay, and I do know your name is Tiffany, even though I called you <laughs> April. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to, you look like an April. So what do we have here? Because this is kind of this is this is definitely a piece that would make you think. Because there's no face. So what what is your thought process behind this? So for this piece, it's going to be an exhibition as well. Um, it's actually titled "The Kindest Person I Know." Okay. Um, and so I did leave the face out on purpose, uh, kind of giving people that extra space to when they're looking at it and thinking about it to maybe insert 
mm. somebody they know into the image. That's kind of fun. How long would it take for you to, to put this together, a piece like this? Oh, that's hard to say. I kind of work on several pieces all at once. Um, so in the studio time that I was creating work for the show, it's uh, bouncing back and forth between mm -hmm. four or five works. Uh, but about, I would say, a month to, to put together this piece. Obviously not consistently, but... <laughs> mm -hmm. So is that the way it works then as an artist? I mean, you've got a few pieces on the go then for both of you? Is that yes. Always. Yeah. 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 No, always. Okay. So this piece here then, and, yes. and I know our last guests love this because you have the dog in it. And, uh, <laughs> So this, this is pretty detailed. Are we at the NAC here? Or what's yes, going on? Yes, at the theater at the NAC. Really? And my husband and I raise guide dogs for the blind. Oh, uh, wow. So this is Stanley, and it's part of my Raising Stanley series. And as part of the raising uh, process that you have to socialize a dog. So bring it to the theater, on the bus, in okay. the shops. So here's a, a painting of Stanley at the theater. Really? So is this an actual, like, did you take a picture of this? And, and paint yes, it? I... I uh, I don't have a, uh, enough, uh, I don't think the dog has enough patience to sit still for a long time, <laughs> so I had to yeah. work from photographs. Obviously. And one thing I will tell you about this incident was he was wonderful, well behaved the time he came to the, the theatre, yeah. but the one thing he did was he leaned over and he licked the ear of the woman sitting in front of us. Wow. <laughs> And fortunately, she wasn't too surprised when she turned around and saw a big white furry head looking over her <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> it, it, the lady would have been more surprised if it was me doing it. Oh. it? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's better that it's a dog. Okay, so what were, what were we watching here, by the way? Is, do we remember? Do you know, I can't even remember. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Because <laughs> this guy, like, he's into it. He's like, he's <laughs> into it. He's like, he's intense. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot of fun. Uh, so tell me then, okay, so opening night, tomorrow night, uh, which is a venissage, uh, what, what is different with opening night compared to the rest of the show? Well, we kind of have a celebration, so everybody gets a little, a little fancy, a little dressed up. Uh, yeah. There's some bites to eat, uh, some drinks involved, and uh, just okay. kind of a general party to celebrate the opening, have a chance to talk with the artists in person. And, okay. uh, and is there admission price for opening night and the rest of the year? No, it's free. Really? Yeah. Free to get in. Yeah. That's exceptional. Well, congratulations on, on, on your beautiful artwork and this amazing event. Uh, we're looking forward to it. It is Melange. Yes. There, she didn't correct me. That's wonderful. <laughs> and of course, uh, we appreciate your time here, Karen and Tiffany Melange. It's going to be a lot of fun at St. Bridges Centre for the Arts.